Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Daily Devotion number 21. Today's meditation is taken from 1 John chapter 1, 8 through 9. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. One of the first steps in recovery is moving beyond denial and accepting that we're in denial. One of the classic ways is when we blame everyone else for our situation. We accuse other people and we expect other people to change and our environment to change to make us happy again. We think we would do better. But the truth is very different. The truth is, is that we have a problem inside of us. And no matter what our circumstances are or what other people have done to us, we have to bear responsibility for our situation. We recognize that this tendency to hurt others and to hurt ourselves is right inside of us and that we are responsible for our situation. If we would just be honest about that and accept responsibility for our lives and quit looking for other people to change or situations to change, which it probably won't, we can begin to do the real thing that will bring all change, which is to try to correct the problems with our own hearts, to do something that we can change with the help of God in our own lives. God can do it, but what he asks of us is to confess, to be honest, to admit what we really know in our own heart, stop the blaming and the accusing, all the denial techniques we've got. Come clean, be honest with God. This is something you got to do every day because our hearts are pretty tricky and always trying to avoid responsibility. But if you do the hard work of being responsible and honest before God, confessing it to him and putting your faith in him to forgive you, to love you, and to correct you, things could change. If we would confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive us all our sins. Don't wait on other people. Make the first step. Begin to be honest with yourself and with God. He already knows who you really are and what you've really done. It's time that you knew it too. And then you'll be purified from all unhealthy, unproductive, and unrighteous thinking into a good behavior, a changed life, full of joy and peace and serenity. Let us pray. Our evening prayer, and this is it tonight. Father God, thank you for purifying my heart, helping me to get rid of the stains of sin that have left on my life and relationships. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, we thank you for the grace that you have given us and the grace we can give others. We thank you that you are the judge and we are not, and that you will be just. You will give to each person as they deserve. And Lord, you also give grace to undeserving people like me and like my friends. And as you listen to our prayers, as we get honest with you and tell you the truth of that you already know, that we're finally telling ourselves, we can begin to change and know a second chance, a new beginning, and a refreshing of our spirits in you, that we might know the joy of love and grace and give that to others. I pray for everyone listening to me tonight that they can step into the truth and move beyond the denial of their life into the grace of Christ and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. For you are the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other way to God than through you. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. I'll say it again. God loves you so much. And it's not by accident that we're together today for daily devotion. So I hope you'll keep coming back Leave a comment to mo to below and tell us what God is telling you and encourage others on the road to recovery. This has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church encouraging you as always to keep the faith 
and share it too.